Most of the time, a full moon is never completely full. We always see the same side of the moon, but the moon's rotation causes part of the moon to be in shadow. The moon is only 100% full when the moon, earth, and sun are perfectly aligned. When the moon moves 180 degrees from its new moon position, the sun, earth, and moon are aligned. The moon's disk is illuminated by the sun as completely as possible, so it's called a full moon. The October full moon is commonly called the hunter's moon. This comes from European and Native American traditions where hunters use the light of the full moon to stalk their prey and prepare for the coming winter. Contrary to popular belief, the hunter's moon is not bigger or brighter than usual. It simply rises earlier, just after sunset, giving hunters enough moonlight to hunt during the evening hours. However, neo-pagans know the hunter's moon by a more sinister name, the blood moon. The October full moon appears a little bigger than usual, which is why it's called a supermoon. A supermoon occurs when a full moon coincides with the moon, at a point in its orbit that is 90% of its closest approach to Earth. October's supermoon will be the closest supermoon to Earth. Supermoon is a catchy term for what astronomers call a perigee full moon, when the full moon is at or near its closest point on its elliptical orbit to Earth. While a supermoon is technically bigger and brighter than a regular full moon, it actually only appears about 7% larger. This is likely a difference that is imperceptible to the human eye depending on other conditions. When the moon passes over the horizon near sunset, it can appear larger and orange. This is perfect for fall. But don't be fooled by the moon illusion, which makes the moon appear larger than it actually is. This month's full moon will be on Thursday, October 17th. The new moon was at the beginning of the month on Wednesday, October 2nd.